Hello and welcome to episode 1 of the computer craft tutorial that I'm doing for you guys. Uh, this series will show how to help you learn a little bit of the coding in computer craft. Uh, should help you out. I'm doing this mostly because I'm uh, trying to teach myself a bit of computer craft. So why not let's get started here explain what computer craft is. Uh, computer craft adds computers and turtles to the game gen. Um, for this tutorial I'd suggest you have uh, 164 and computer craft and open peripherals. Uh, those will be the ones that I will be using. Um, let's get started here with a little bit of basic understanding. Um, first off this is the main crafting term or the main terminal of the computer. I'll, uh, let me show you this here. The re recipe for it is uh, smooth stone, redstone dust, and a glass pane. All easy to make. All vanilla items. So, so the first thing we're going to do is open Lua here. And for the first lesson, I'm just going to show you some of the math functions here. Um, the math functions are simple. It's like the plus symbol right there. 1 plus 2, we all know, equals 3. 2 divide, or 4, that's divide symbol by 2, equals 2. Nine times seven, sixty-three. There is other math functions. Um, let me pull them up real quick here. I uh, like the following function: math dot abs. Uh, or the absolute value, which means you put a negative value in here like negative 900, it would say that you have 900. Um, or if you need the square root of, um, say, 81, which you should come back with 9. Now there is more of these out there, uh, like the cosine, pi, sine, Max, min, floor, ceiling. Um, let me show you here one. Math dot floor of a point zero zero point five. Um, what it does is round it to the nearest whole number downwards. Whereas math dot ceiling will round that same dot zero dot five up to the highest. If you noticed, I am using these brackets here at the end of those functions. They're needed. Um, that is the basic math functions. Now, however, we can assign values to a variable. Um, variables are like a equals 4, b equals 10. Now type in print, which is a function. So print a, it shows 4 and then a 1. Print lowercase a, it'll just bring but print 1. 1 means that it was able to print. Uh, or it's a true value. Uh, you do get some values to pop up that are true or false. Um, for Math with these, we can do still A plus B 
and it will put the value of a plus b. We can type in just a or just b. So you can assign any multiple combinations. You can even make it a word like uh, malcore equals 100. Type it in the malcore lowercase, nil value. So programming in Lua is case sensitive. You do have to remember that. Now we're going to exit the Lua script here real quick and edit a program. If you type uh, directory here, you'll see just the basic ROM directory. But if you want to make a program in this, you would have to edit, give the program a name like math. Now we can type a equals 0 0.5 math dot math dot ceiling or sill a uh, what well we'll assign this uh, b equals math.ceiling. Next we want to be able to see the result so we would need to print it to the screen. We would save it, exit, and then run math. Simple as that and thank you for watching the first episode. Uh, when I come back, I will show you more, uh, going to start showing you loops, so see you next time. Uh, it's night here in this world. If you notice, I do have a spare computer back there, but uh, until next time, later Gators.